So, I, I, I was uh, in the group of small group leaders Sunday night. I'm closing with this. In the group of small group leaders Sunday night, and I, I said, help me with the sermon next Sunday. I want to preach on this, and you're the leaders, and give me some ideas about what to say. And Oh, my, there were so many good ideas. But I want to pick one to close with. Um, somebody used this phrase. He used the phrase, um, we need to help our people see that if they don't move into some kind of small group relationship, they may be missing or denying others of the Esther moments of life. Esther moments. Now here's what I believe he meant. <laughs> I didn't go deeper, but you remember here's the situation with Esther. She becomes queen. She's Jewish in the exile, she comes queen, and Haman, this wicked Haman, has plotted to kill all the Jews. And he's gotten the king, her husband, to agree to release people to kill all the Jews in the empire. And she's a Jew. Mordecai, Mordecai her cousin, sort of father, raised her. He finds out about this, and he sends her a message and says, could it be that you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this? In other words, an Esther moment. You're there and nobody else can do this but you. That's why you're there. Now she knows you can't go into the presence of the king unless he lifts the golden scepter. You get killed, even queens. You don't mess with the, you don't mess with the king. So she writes back, you fast and pray and I will go, and if I perish, I perish. Now, here's the relationship to small groups. There are Esthers and there are Mordecais, namely all of you. And God has ordained that at some moment in life, you're essential in this group. Actually, you're always essential somewhere doing something that only you can do. But there are moments when God intends to bring a blessing into a small group precisely through you. Don't, don't have the notion that spiritual gifts are lifelong skills which get supercharged by the Holy Spirit. That is true. But that's not mainly what is meant in 1 Corinthians 12. Mainly what is meant in 1 Corinthians 12 is when the church gathers together, God sovereignly gifts people to do things that need being done in the lives of others, to build them up and deliver them, strengthen them. Esther moments, or if we want to do male and female, Mordecai moments and Esther moments. And so there are two things you're going to miss, among others, if you... If you come away from this service saying, I just don't think I need that in my life. You're going to miss, number one, a channeling of, of power and blessing to you that God only will give you through others. That's the way he's planned it. And secondly, you're going to miss the blessing of being one of those channelers to others because spiritual gifts are discovered in fellowship. They're not discovered in the woods by yourself asking for a revelation of who you are. We find ourselves anointed and gifted in the moment when we make ourselves at the disposal of the king to bless his people. 